Now let's look at these procedures for application. I would like you to meet Francesco. Frankie is a six-year-old boy diagnosed with autism. He has extremely limited interests and no functional communication skills. He engages in almost non-stop problem behavior and everyone is frustrated because they don't know why he is doing it or how to stop it. I am often asked this question at workshops. What do you do if the child does not have any reinforcers? I chose Frankie as a case study because he could be the poster boy for this concern. Unlike typically developing children his age, Francesco sees no value in watching a video. He has no interest in doing puzzles or other table activities. He won't draw, paint, or color. It's not due to lack of effort. Frankie's parents are committed to helping him and continuously try to engage him in more appropriate activities. Mom would love nothing more than to read a story to her son, but as you can see, he has no interest whatsoever. Remember, almost no activity is hard or boring if reinforcement is strong and delivered frequently. The last clips with Frankie clearly demonstrate the three benefits of developing new activities and interests. He now spends more time engaged in appropriate activities, which leaves less time for problem behavior and or self-stimulatory behavior. His new interest in age-appropriate activities means he now has more in common with his peers, which has social implications. And finally, these new activities, or condition reinforcers, can now be used to teach functional communication and other important skills.